Hello, hello. Welcome to Willis Farms. Oh, I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful. See all my stamps that I need to list. If you like stamps, um, let me know. I have oodles. Um, so anyway, <laughs> hi, welcome to Willis Farms. Thanks so much for joining me today. I am a little bit late. I was updating my website, um, putting all of that beautiful um, fusion milk paint um, into my shop, which I will soon, um, soon, soon, soon arrive to my shop and I will be um, selling and also telling you how it wonderful, the colors, just the colors themselves, I am so excited about. I'm seriously excited about the beautiful, there are 25 milk paint colors and I cannot wait. And it's just perfect. I mean, the perfect timing for spring and all of that um, outdoor furniture. Um, but we're gonna get into that later. But I wanted to um, come on here today and say hello. So if you're on, I only have, um, I'm only on one um right now so when i tilt you down i'm not going to be able to see your comments i apologize for that um but i need to find my charger for my tablet so i can do the dual thing so anyway i wanted to show you today i posted on my page on my facebook page the mother's day um craft kits that i have available right now so who is excited about their mama I'm excited about my mama. I also am a very excited mama as well. And I'm a grandmama. So it's super, super fun. Um, and I remember as a little girl always making my mom cards and, you know, hearts and flowers and doing all these drawings and giving them to her. And hi, Wanda. I know. I really, seriously, I'm the worst. I am also one of those really bad people um, that, like, everybody lives with their phone and it's, like, super close to them. I am not one of those humans. I literally will set my phone down um, and walk off and spend majority of my day without my phone. And then my husband will have called. Um, and then I'm like, ah, crud. Yeah. So... It's just, you know, my head's not in that space. It needs to be sometimes. And I need to put it, I need to have a list that says, okay, you need to do this in the morning. And charge my tablet is one of them. But anyway, back to why we're here. We're here um, because I think these projects are super, super fun. I think they're fun um, even if you're almost 50, like me. And you still want to give something personal and painted to your mom, um, because I know my mama, all the things that I drew on, all the things I doodled on, every single one of them, um, she saved, she glued to paper, she rolled it up, um, and when I left home, actually when I lived in Texas, um, she gave it to me, um, and it just blessed my heart so very much to know that my mom saved all of those things. So this little set right here, it is available for purchase. Um, I think it's super cute. I think it's super cute. It is three flowers um, and I call it the forever flower set, okay? So these are forever flowers because they won't wilt, they won't die. Um, and your mama or you can have them proudly displayed on your shelf um, all spring long. I mean, how cute are these? They're so, so cute. And these stand up. So let's get to it. Um, and I will show you how I am going to paint them. It doesn't mean how you have to paint them, but I just thought it would be fun to come on here and um, demo a little bit about that. Okay. So thought that would be fun. I did, I did. Okay, so let's, like I said, let's get to it. So I'm going to push you down. Oh, belly says she's giving me a little bit of sound effects herself. 
there you go. Now, if you say any comments, I'm going to have to wait till the very end um, because I honestly um, can't see if I'm painting like this. Okay, so we have the zigzag pattern. We have the plane, and then we have a more um, wave, wave pattern. So these go together, these go together, and these go together, okay? So we're gonna start with our zigzag pattern, and I am going to start with my greens. Now, I honestly want a little bit of a, um, spring green. So I'm just kind of putting it together and we're just going to go on there. Um, and we're going to, Bella always has to say hi. I tell you, I love that she says hello though. Um, and one of the beautiful things about this set is if you notice, it has score marks. So it's kind of like you're, um, painting a coloring book. You know, because it has the marks similar to a coloring book. Um, and if you want to stay in the lines, awesome. If you don't, don't. This is your project. My mom would expect me not to stay in the lines, um, honestly, because she knows I'm not really a stay in the line kind of gal. Um, so that's what she would expect. So we're going to do a little bit of unexpected work today. So this one kind of seems a little succulent -y to me, but it has a stem. Um, so we're going to assume this little guy um, is, uh, can you see my paint? All I'm doing, this right here is park bench. This is pressed fern. And this, I believe, wow, I can't believe I forgot already. I don't know, I'll have to tell you what color that is. But I'm just trying to get a softer green. And with Fusion Mineral Paint, this is Fusion. So anytime you buy a um, kit from me, you are going to get um, kit size Fusion Mineral Paint always. Um, I thought about like switching it up and just using a different paint. Um, but then I decided against it. All of my kits, always and forever, are going to be Fusion Mineral Paint. Why? Because I stand by it. I love it. It's an awesome paint. It's an awesome company. And honestly, you never have to worry about it peeling, chipping, or fading. So how cool is that? And also, you're going to love the way that this just goes on so incredibly smooth. Super smooth. Now, if you don't want to soak your brushes in water while you're painting, which I highly recommend you don't do, because if you soak it too high up, then this is gonna start to eat away. Um, so all you need to do is just get a baby wipe and lay your brush in the baby wipe. It'll keep it moist enough. Um, and also if you ever wanna go back and um, use it again, it's gonna be moist, so it's not gonna dry out. Now, whatever my mysterious color is, because I forgot, I want this. My mom, my mom will like this color. She will. My mom will like this color. Bright, vibrant. This color is azure. Azure. It is a super bright. Um, I don't know, some say turquoise, some say teal, some say, you know, but say whatever you want to say. It's just gorgeous. It's gorgeous. I'm kind of muting it out a little bit um, just because we're making a spring, um, not a summer. So I'm just kind of lightening it out just a tad, not too much with my, um, and on this also I want to show you. So I put a little bit too much. Can you still see me? Can you still see what I'm doing? You can't see what I'm doing at all. Wanda. Yes. I don't know who Elizabeth is. Um, but yeah, they're really, really awesome. Sorry, I don't know who Elizabeth is. 
Cassie, I'm going to assume, is your daughter. I don't know Elizabeth. But, okay, tilting down, tilting down. Okay, so we're just going to take a little bit of this, and we're going to sponge, okay? So if you sponge, you're still going to see those draw lines. And also, this is so much fun, because if you sponge, it also seems more textural. Now, you can mix your paint all completely up, but what we're going to do is we're going to create this amazing um, ombre effect on my pot. Um, and you're just going to start with your darker color at the bottom. Okay. Darker color on the bottom. And then as you work your way up, you're going to start adding that lighter color. Okay. Easy peasy. And then by the time you get to the top, you just have that lighter color up there. A little muted. Isn't that fun? Look at that. Seriously, super easy. I mean, how quick was this? Right? Okay, so we're just gonna add a little bit more, put a little bit more azure, because we want dark, 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 dark. And then we're just gonna bleed it, bleed it out, blend it, blend it, blend it. Okay. Blend, blend that to that top. Okay, look how cute that is. And then I went over a little bit, but we can fix that so quick. And that's why I say, if you have your brush, which we do, and we kept it moist, so it's not, um, we can just put it back in there. If you told me, hold on, tilting up again. Oh, okay, I am learning. I had no idea that Todd had a daughter. That's awesome. That is super, super awesome. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, so with this one, I'm going to, this is coral, okay? And I'm going to set this sponge guy off to the side. And I'm going to get my second sponge. I'm going to take my coral. Right there, just a drip, because literally so little goes so far. And then this is um, also tight lid. Um, this is buttermilk cream. Okay, so we have coral and buttermilk cream. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my coral, I'm gonna go at the bottom here. Okay. We're just going in there. I'm telling you guys, I understand that we're grown. I do. I understand. And we think of fun, cute art projects as for littles. We do. We think of these things more for littles. And we're like, oh, and I agree. Littles love it. Um, they really do. But don't. Don't discredit, because um, I'm just going to be honest. If my kids made me a drawing and they did something like this for me for Mother's Day, my heart would be overjoyed. Okay, so while we're doing, can you see? Can you see what I'm doing? I hope you can see what I'm doing. Okay, there we are. So all I'm doing is I'm taking my, I need a little bit more buttercream. And we're kind of doing the same thing. We are blending these two colors. So, um, and when you have these sponges, it's great because one, one side of the sponge, see, one side of the sponge, where is my camera, um, could be for your main color. And then the other side is for the other color. And then you're just going to blend them, okay? You'll just blend them. So you just want to make sure that your tips are um, your main, your Lot softer color and then we're blending and if you need to get another sponge go ahead not pretty so very pretty i know my mama would love it she would okay so what i'm gonna do here is i'm just gonna kind of go along 
my base and just give a little bit more of that definition of my coral, okay? Just a little. Um, not overly being picky about it, but just trying to get a little. Then I'm gonna flip my brush over and then I'm gonna just kind of blend a little of that on my um, buttercream. And if you see, the two start to blend together, they kind of bleed together, and you get this gorgeous um, blushy coral color. And it is just so very pretty. And I love, there we go. Give it a little bit more definition. But see how quick these come together? I mean, seriously, so very, very fast. We're gonna do the exact same technique. Um, good thing we kept our sponge a little bit moist. It's always good to keep your sponge a little bit moist. But I just, I hope that you guys love these. They're so fun and yes, Little kids would love them. Um, just let them have a great time. We're gonna use this side. Oh, I definitely need, make sure that you're putting the same ones together. If you wanna be matchy-matchy. You don't have to be matchy-matchy. Um, and if you go up a little bit into your green, remember, don't worry, because you can always paint over it. And all we're doing, I hope you can see this, hope you can. Um, we're just going along, okay? Dark color on bottom, and then light color on top. And then you just blend them together. And with these sponges, it is so easy to do this, okay? Then we're gonna get another baby wipe. This is another trick if you are like, ah! Right? Another trick is if you have too much paint, you can wipe with a baby wipe. Just don't press too hard because your paint's not cured. Because with fusion mineral paint, it'll take, with this paint, with the um, mineral paint, it takes 21 days to cure. Okay, 21 days to cure. Now with the milk paint, it takes 30 minutes. 30 minutes to cure with milk paint. Isn't that amazing? Oh. So we're gonna pretend that it's dry just because I want you to see how this goes together. Look at that. Isn't that cute? I just love them. Cute, huh? Very, very, very cute. And then for the back, after your front dries, you can just paint the exact same color. It's not scored. Um, so you're going to display it so the score side is seen primarily. Um, but, but you can still, it's still super beautiful. So they come together really, really easy. Um, and kids would just have so much fun. And kids at heart would have so much fun too. So I just wanted to show this to you today. Um, and tomorrow, let's go over. Um, a couple more sets that I will be displaying this week. Okay? Okay. So our spring mix that you'll have in your pack is the... Um, why is my brain freezing today? It's freezing because I'm tired. Um, we have our buttermilk cream, our coral, our azure, 
and also our lavender. It's called something though. It has a beautiful name and I forgot it, but it is lavender. Okay, and then also, um, if you order this set, I will give you minis of um, the greens as well. So you can paint your stems greens. But let's go over with any order that you order um, Mother's Day sets, you're going to receive a free um, mom keychain set. Okay, so you'll receive a free mom keychain set. Who doesn't want a mom keychain set? I think they're adorable. Of course, you'll receive the sponges. Um, you'll receive a brush. And you'll also see, receive a foam brush if you prefer to do foam brushes. Um, let's get to it. We also have a different set that I will be um, <clears throat> showing you how to paint this week is the tear tray set. That's the rose for the tear tray. We have also for the tear tray, a tag that says, I love mom. And none of these are glued together because you glue them together after you're done painting them. Um, also, we have this mom stand that stands up. This is part of the tear tray. This cute little frame thing that says, um, best mom ever, which I have to, you know, we're all going to say that we have the best mom ever. And then one that says a uh, round that says happy Mother's Day. So that's the tear tray set. We also have this best mom ever with rain boots and tulips. This one's going to mine. This one and those, but shh, don't tell her. Because rain boots um, and tulips make me think of my mom. Um, and then this one as well is that we have for a mother set, which is mom, the heart of our home. And this one I'm actually going to do for myself because I have four littles that are grown adults, but they're still my littles. Um, so I have my kiddos, the four of them. And then I have a teeny little heart up here because of my granddaughter. Yep. So. These are the sets I'm going to show you this week how to paint, um, DIY it, and then also um, it's available. I have the sale um, till tomorrow, but I'm going to extend it to the end of the week because I am doing these videos until the end of the week. But after the end of this week, Friday, after Friday, um, I will probably it'll be in the album sale. Also for this Friday, which I have the album sale um, Friday evening, um, but it'll be in the album sale as well. But as soon as Saturday morning comes around, I'm pulling it and they won't be available anymore from Willis Farms. So this these kits will only be available for purchase this week. So I hope, 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 tell your friends um, to join in and order your wonderful kits. They're amazing. They go together, like I said, so super easy. Let's do one more. Okay, we have a little bit of time. And then honestly, I have to get groceries. Yeah. Um. So we're gonna do our leaves, but this time for my leaves, I'm just going to do this color which is my press firm. And this is And if you wanted to use a sponge on the whole entire thing, you can. It's um if you use a sponge, it actually your paint goes on a little bit smoother as you noticed. Um I just gravitate towards a brush cuz I guess that's what I'm just used to using, but you can use your sponge and then if you want to cover your oops with a brush, that's great as well. Okay, so we're going to paint that. And I would say for these little tight spots, um, I tell myself, don't worry about it because you're going to you're going to be able to oops it, which I say oops it, is you'll be able to paint over that um, with your brush. So no worries about that.
So, so far, which one's your favorite if you're watching this? And if you do watch the replay, please push hashtag replay because I would love to know that you are on and watch my video. If you're a YouTuber, please subscribe to my channel. Um, I think everybody knows where to subscribe to channels. Um, you just hit the subscribe below. I'm trying to do better at my YouTube channel. Um, you know, it's life gets busy. Gardens have to go in. I planted a couple of fruit trees over the weekend. So I had to go um, over the couple of past weeks, hunt down fruit trees that I enjoyed. Um, and so I did that, and, you know, just little projects here and there. <clears throat> Okay, so what color should we make this guy? I think this one should be this color. And you you honestly could just use your lids too. Just make sure you're dabbing off. Right, and like I said, when you're using your foam brush, your sponge, it paints faster. And then you just clean it up a little bit. No worries about going over the edges. Clean that up. Okay, and why that yellow was driving the better cream? I am going to oh. <laughs> to my bottom of mine in lavender. I know there's twilight geranium. Echinacea. It's all on the same line. And sometimes I have to say the whole entire line in order to remember. Divine lavender. That's what it's called. Divine lavender. I think these this flower set actually makes me feel very nostalgic of um, doing, you know, craft projects when I was a kid. So that's why I think it'd be fun, even as adults, to give it to our moms. My dad actually loved flowers as well. He was an incredible gardener. Um, so my dad was still alive today. I'd probably give him this set as well. Okay, now we're just going to clean up our green a bit. Purple, purples, the violet tones and greens are so beautiful together. And green, um, sorry, purple, violets are the complementary color to yellows, so that's why I chose yellow. See, they go together, if you notice, so, so fast. And I dropped my brush. Very happy little flower here. You could actually do this middle part with this sponge first. Get in there if you go outside of the 
lines, no worries, because when you do your outside, you can just paint your outside with a brush. Or you can do it the way that I did it, which is sponge first, and then use a brush on the inside. And honestly, with these kits, you are gonna have plenty of paint left over. So you will be able to have paint another really fun, fun project. Cute, huh? I think they're adorable. Yep. I hope you love them. I do. So this set is available on my website, which is www.willisfarms. Sorry, www.willis-farms farms llccom So if you're interested in ordering, you can order off of my website. You can order off of my Facebook, which will actually direct you to my website. Um, or you can contact me directly. So thanks so much for tuning in again today. I hope you enjoyed this. And once again, if you watch the replay, hashtag replay for me. Um, and I will chat with you soon with this girl has to go get groceries because I'm out of milk and we need it for coffee. So anyway, just thanks for tuning in. Really enjoyed spending time with you today. Stay creative. Bye.